Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to show you the synthesis of atypic acid by the catalyzed oxidation of cyclohexanone by hydrogen peroxide. Well, first of all, atypic acid is an important chemical mainly used for manufacture of nylon 66, whose production is up to 2.2 million metric tons per year. Currently, the industrial production of atypic acid uses nitric acid oxidation of cyclohexanone or a two-step oxidation of cyclohexane processed by nitric acid. The nitrous oxide is the inevitable stoichiometric waste produced by this process. So in this uh, synthesis, we're going to use a greener method for the production of atypic acid uh, that only uses um, hydrogen peroxide, uh, sodium tungstate, and uh, phosphoric acid for the uh, obtention of atypic acid. To begin with the reaction, we have in this flask already measured a 7.5 millimolar of sodium tungstate dihydrate that is equal to 2.47 grams of um, sodium tungstate. To this same flask, we are going to add um, 1.32 mole of hydrogen peroxide 30% that it is equal to 136 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Then we swirl the flask a couple of times to try to dissolve all the sodium tungstate. We can see the yellow formation of tungstic acid. Now that hole has dissolved, we can proceed to the addition of phosphoric acid. Now we will introduce 7.5 millimoles of phosphoric acid, 85%, with the aid of a micropipette. Now that the hydrogen peroxide, sodium tungstate, and phosphoric acid have been added, we can proceed to add the cyclohexanone. And we add 32 milliliters of cyclohexanone. And we swirl the flask again. And the mixture becomes a little, a little bit warm. So now that all of the reagents have been added, we can begin the refluxing of the reaction for eight hours. So this is our setup. We have our flask, our condenser, uh, the pump, and the heating mantle. So we add a couple of boiling chips to prevent uh, sudden boiling.
This is how the reaction looks after seven hours, seven and a half hours. As you can see, the reaction is very tame now. The boiling has almost ceased and we can proceed to uh, cool down the mixture and filtrate to eliminate those uh, boiling chips. So here is our product after the eight hours of refluxing and we have already removed the boiling chips so we can let it in the freeze for overnight so the product can crystallize. Tomorrow we will filtrate and wash the product. Now to further purify our product, we must do first an acid-base treatment. Uh, then first we prepare a solution of a potassium hydroxide 6 molar. Uh, we add it to the crude product and we transform it to sodium to potassium adipate. Sorry. Then we have to precipitate with some concentrated hydrochloric acid, and then we uh, do another filtration. Now as you can see, our crude product is uh, somewhat dirty, so we have to filtrate it first through some cotton filter to remove some impurities. Now that all the, uh, the liquid has passed through the cotton filter, we are left with a nice clear solution of uh, potassium adipate. In order to recover our product, we need to make the solution acid again until around a pH of 4 or 3. Now we can add some concentrated hydrochloric acid. And so for the last step, we need to do a recrystallization in hot water. So we add approximately 200 milliliters um, of distilled water and we heat to boiling. And then we wait a couple of minutes until all dissolves. Um, then we filtrate uh, while it is still hot and we collect the product.